sexy Demi Lovato crucifix poster banned for offending Christians. A poster promoting Demi Lovato's latest album, Holy F.V.C.K., was banned in the UK by the Advertising Standards Authority, or ASA, after four complaints were received. It took them only four complaints to ban the whole thing. Four people. Yeah. The All poster right. in question depicted Demi Lovato wearing a black and red bondage outfit while lying on a mattress shaped like a crucifix on a red background. The American singer was also, quote, in a position with her legs bound to one side, which was reminiscent of Christ on the cross, according to the ASA. The ASA stated that the poster and album titled linked sexuality with the sacred relig religious symbol and was therefore offensive to Christians. The watchdog also received complaints about the poster's placement, saying they were placed irresponsibly in areas where children could see them. The poster was removed from six locations across London, and the ASA warned the record label not to release similar advertisements in the future. Despite the controversy, Lovato's album reached number seven on the UK's official albums chart of uh, top 100. Okay, what was the official reason for why they took it away in the UK? It was the... Because it linked sexuality with a sacred religious symbol okay i thought i thought um it was because of the the swear word that was on that there was a portion of the statement that talked about the swear word mm -hmm. but that wasn't the overarching message in my opinion mm -hmm. because that swear word would seem to me like it's an excuse for something that is more about religion because it was not really a swear word. It was just made to look like a swear word. And if that was the problem, then the brand, there's a brand that looks like a swear word. Like F, uh, what is that? SCUK? That, that has to be banned in the entirety of the UK, that, uh, that brand, because it sounds like. Oh, I haven't heard of that one before. Okay. So but, that was part okay, of but, it. But then it was also the explicit sexualization of, uh, you know, sacred objects. You know, it's sacrilegious sacrilegious so uk is officially now has blasphemy laws this is a, like no and like, actually if you scroll down you see that um humanist uh uk actually made a comment about this where they said humanist uk has long campaigned to lift the ban on blasphemy and advertising free speech is being stifled and offense is being weaponized sign our petition to call on the asa to lift the ban so apparently i mean I don't remember what kind of law the UK has on blasphemy in general. I mean, I know that historically they have had them, right? But this is more of something that's specific to advertising and not a general civil law, in my understanding. Okay, um, can we get the cross ban by, by claiming that um, we're getting turned on by it? <laughs> <laughs> Not like what if it's your kink? Like, like I mean, most most Jesus, most Jesus is on a cross. The guy is like almost completely naked, except just a little bit, right? And you know, he looks pretty. He looks pretty fit, right? Mm -hmm. He's he's kind of restrained at the same time, oh. right? I bet you a whole bunch of people will find that, you know, kind of kinky, right? Can 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 we get four people? To complain about that and maybe get the entirety of the Jesus on well, the cross. Well, I mean, you know, that's not in an advertisement, as they would say in the UK. Okay, because this is, is specific to an advertising authority. It is. It is advertisement of religion. I know, but usually crucifixes with Christ on the cross is seen within the church, in my experience. Like, actually within the church, above the altar. Da, da, da. Okay, we can allow that. We allow that inside the church, but can we get it banned outside of the church? Because it's too kinky, it's sexy. I mean, we just want to be fair. <laughs> no, because they're saying that this is ex explicitly, ex like, ex sexualizing what? it. Okay, it's in a reproduction, not the thing itself is just found by some to be sexy. I think that would probably be the argument. Okay, and that it's well, also, also the offense to the Christians. Yeah, that's the main part, okay? Because would this be banned on advertisement if there was no cross behind her? 
Like, do we not? Because I've been to the UK. I've seen under buses. They have more sexualized ads than this. I think so. Right? Yeah. So it's not about the sexualization. It's about the cross. So yeah, this is not this is not right. Oh. Yeah. Well, Asian American is saying something. I can't highlight it because it hasn't come up yet on StreamYard. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Have you all seen Sexy Korean Jesus? What is Sexy it's... Korean Jesus? I don't know. I'm going to look it up. Well, because in San Francisco, we would have a competition every Easter called the Sexy Jesus Competition. And everyone goes and no, Hunky Jesus, excuse me, Hunky Jesus Competition. And so the buffest, typically gay men in San Francisco would go have a competition to win if they could be, if they could get money for being the sexiest Hunky Jesus on Easter in the park. It was pretty awesome. What and then they did. started having a uh, competition. I think it was for Slutty Mary or for Sexy Mary. And so then they had started having Sexy Mother Mary competitions as well. Right. She should have done it with tying it herself to the snake. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get it. Do you explain this? Well, like, in basically, instead of it being a cross, like, she's being burned at the stake. Oh, yeah. That would be more in line with Christian belief. Um, okay, here's a here. D is also correct. Look, Jesus on a cross. I think this is also sexism. Okay, because Jesus on a cross has less clothing than she has. This is sexism. D is saying, well, Jesus only wore an itty bitty loincloth. Exactly. So, how come Jesus is not sexy? I mean, as a Christian, you have to be offended. How come people don't find Jesus on a cross sexy? <laughs> he does look usually fit, does he? Okay, I don't know. Yeah, but I think that might be partially like because of this like starvation he went through, like uh, because of no, what? no, he has ab like no, no, he doesn't look like a starved. Okay, hold on. Um, he doesn't look like he's a. Armin wants to be as shredded as Christ on the cross. <laughs> yeah, like most of the time he looks pretty he looks like he's he's he works out. Okay, like like I don't know, like this one. Right? But where is sexy Korean Jesus? I want to know what this is. Okay, why can't I zoom in? But look, like you can see visible abs and everything. Like this doesn't look like a guy who's look at this, look at these, look at these six pack. He has six pack. He's chiseled. He's chiseled. Yeah. This one yeah. looks like he's starving a little bit. But most Jesuses I've seen, he looks like he works out at least a little bit. But <laughs> I, I saw Korean. Korean Jesus is famous because of that movie. Mariam um, is saying it's like ma the Madonna scandal from the 1990s all over again, but far less artistic, more just for shock value. I mean, I guess some people find this shocking. Is this even shocking? I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's just because I'm so irreligious. I just like don't even blink. Is this Korean Jesus? Is this or Korean is Jesus? Is this Korean Jesus? This one is too fit. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. That one is built like a freaking brick wall. Like. <laughs> Yo, yeah. it looks like Yol Romero on the cross. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh, look, this is Korean Jesus. Wow. <laughs> I this is pretty good. Yeah. Anyways. Is the same for evangelical Christians. Everything is shocking. Except this isn't even evangelical Christians. This is the UK. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, that's the UK. It's Christian. We're okay, Christians it's are actually a minority now. Oh, Mariam is turned on by Korean Jesus. Um, <laughs> okay. To be fair, people who say like, oh, I didn't think Christians would be this offended. I thought it would be the Muslims or the Hindus or something like that. Okay. It, may, may I remind you for, for most of history, stuff far less than this used to get you, you know, Killed. Bur burned at the stake. Yeah. Like you get, you, you were used to get burned, burned alive. Okay. I think it's not it's not because of the nature of Christianity that people are less 
these days are being less offended or showing less reaction compared to the Muslim community is because they can't, like because they have been, the, the Christianity has been, um, you know, defeated in many places, right? So it, it just, it's just a weaker version of what it used to be, right? But I, I, I'm almost, Susanna, let me, what do you think? I'm almost sure that if, uh, if if Christianity had managed to come back into power, right, and it had it was a dominant force as it used to be, it will go back to burning people alive for blasphemy. Like I, what do you think? Do you agree with that? Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, yeah. So don't don't give any credit to Christianity for not like oh wow it seems like it's it's better now okay it's not it's not better it's just it's just that they can't they used to when they, if they're able to they would right the people have evolved okay and they don't they're not empowered to do so yeah. um get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description <laughs>